All right, here's an update of the 200 series build. So I first posted that I'm gonna be building this and uh, well, time kinda of got away from me. But here we are. In the back, we took off the ARB bumper that had dual jerry can holders. I wasn't a fan of it, didn't like the look. I love the look of the slee. So check this out. And that's the Yankee gold wheel. The 35 is already on the back with a color matched high lift jack. The 48 inch one. Good old slee. I tinted that, um, that reverse light. Extinct, that plate is because, well, the 200 series is extinct. They don't make them anymore. It's just whatever ones we see out in the wild now. V8 is a thing of the past. Now, check out this light. I'm, again, halfway on a lot of stuff. So this is just kind of like an update progress video before I do the suspension. But look at that light here. I tinted out the red part. I wanted to get rid of not just all the chrome, but the red, and I haven't done this one yet. So take a close look. Bright red, right? It really pops. And chrome, and on this side, tinted back. Oh, you can see my reflection in there. And this is wrapped because I couldn't powder coat this. This is um, this is wrapped, this is spray painted. And I have to Plasti Dip that probably is the only way to do it. And it's all to match this color. So the color theme is black trim, of course, the bumpers, uh, the Yankee gold and white. Rooftop tent up top with an agency six shovel and the mounts were powder coated. And then on the uh, 200 series, the early 08s to uh, 2011 did not have this. It was just clean door, just like the Heritage. Uh, and then obviously from what, 2013 through 20, um, well, 2021, non-Heritage, uh, they came back and put this piece. So that's all chrome. So what I did is I had that painted in Yankee Gold. These wheels are coming off. It's gonna match this 35 inch in Yankee Gold. And uh, on the front, I have a video where I added the, the rail. They call that the front rail. So anybody interested in a front rail, hit me up. I got two packages of them, basically. And then changed the fair lead to a worn to match the uh, the Yankee Gold, a black Factor 55 Ultra hook. And then I don't know if you can tell right off the bat, but something's a little bit different with my Baja designs. Do you know what it is? Think about it for a second while I show some other stuff. Front lights, again, because I was trying to get rid of all the chrome, the headlights are very chromey when it's not the um, Heritage Edition that's got black casing in the back. So I tinted that. Not bad, huh? So that tinted out just gives a little bit more of a stealth look on the 200. So what is going to happen this week? I am going to a shop, an awesome shop that I'll share with you in my next video that's doing all the suspension. Uh, the suspension I'm going with this, right now it's got an old man emu, the baseline two inch. I'm going three and a half inch and going from the standard tires to some 315s, which is technically a 34.6, so it's not quite a 35. And I still have more lighting to add to the side. I'm going to put some reverse lights, chase, kind of a chase light um, mock-up that I'm going to do. Let's take a look at the head-on. All right, so what did I do the Bajas? I tinted them. So to me, they're just way too, the yellow are just way too bright. The, the silver are way too chromey, so I tinted them back. So yeah, that's gonna cost me maybe 3% to 5% of the lumens or the brightness, but um, I wanted to do it. They're bright enough. 
and at the bottom I'm gonna get some squadrons here and probably ditch the cover and then tint that back so it'll complete the look of the front and yes these little wings and the grill all done in the Yankee gold but the most exciting part is when those bigger wheels are going to go on and that's this week so that other video is coming up soon in a few days so subscribe and keep an eye for that video coming out it's going to complete the look and i do have to tint that and i do have to do the same thing on that backlight i was showing i got to delete all this chrome so i'm going with uh this is black i was just testing it i didn't like it i want to go with this color here which is matching more to my Yankee gold it's a little bit darker than that but um, I didn't want to go too goldish here but still keep the same color hues and if you do the front rail you have to have the sidestep from ARB ARB sidestep this comes in silver so I had those powder coated black because I just wanted to get a black look again eliminating all of the silver on the truck so here's a test area I did so silver we're gonna get rid of it we're gonna go with this so total chrome delete but not in the traditional black but in the Yankee gold and even here this is tinted I just have to clean it up do my final touches to it but that's got the tint so headlights and those turn signals on the mirrors are a light smoke tint. And in the rear, it's their medium. I didn't want to go too dark. I wanted to have it still like a cherry red. But I think that's just, it's just more stealth looking. We can get both. Yeah, you see how one is just super bright red? There's a good shot of it. So let me know. I prefer this. Let me know if you prefer that. But to me, it was just, it's a, it's a build plus a lot of the, um, you know, with a color combo, kind of a color theme. I just love this Yankee gold. It's a little bit more, uh, how would you say, dark gold compared to the Heritage wheels. And that's a Rock Warrior. And Rock Warriors come kind of a gray here, metal, metallic look or gray paint, and then silver like like a stainless steel like just bright silver so i had that all uh, powder coated black and then the wheel powder coated yankee gold by prismatic uh, powder coat so tell me what you think but the exciting part is coming up with that suspension suspension parts that i could powder coat are also powder coated in that got some bud built going on got uh it's it's my my suspension is made for a heavy rooftop tent drawers which i got in the back which i'll show you that soon in the next video and the bumper it adds a lot of weight so i went with heavier springs which the main company i went with icon um, only makes one size spring so i went heavier springs with dobinson so i got kind of like a whole combo suspension going on here based on my years of experience of having a heavier rear end on the rig all right well thanks for watching tune in stay tuned the suspension part is coming up uh, probably this weekend i'll probably launch that video on sunday check it out and if you have any questions doing your own 200 series build reach out to me i respond 100 um, so look at the the messages my email is uh cruising the land at gmail.com and if you're ever looking for um, action tracks like we have up here I've got those in all unique cool colors and all the standard colors as well um, air compressor systems and car covers for all Land Cruisers all right thanks for tuning in happy trails and good luck with your build